Hi everyone! Thanks for visiting my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I hope that you will consider subscribing and following me on social media. I have all the links to my social media in the description box below my video. So today we're going to be doing something I think is fun. It's going to be part of my holiday collection or Christmas gifting collection. Um, it is from the Ball Complete Book of Home Preserving once again. And we are going to be doing honey orange slices. Now, I thought that this would not only be festive and appropriate for this season, it will also be great for gifting. But one of my reasons for selecting this is I'm going to be sharing with you a delicious holiday salad or Christmas salad um, to put on your table. And we can use these delicious orange slices in that salad. In the description of the ball book, it describes these oranges as these honey spiced orange slices will remind you of sipping a hot cup of spiced orange flavored tea. Among their many uses, they make it an excellent addition to salad greens tossed with a raspberry or balsamic vinaigrette and sprinkled with candied walnuts. So that was my inspiration for this. The salad I'm gonna be making for you um, has delicious oranges in it and it is a balsamic based vinaigrette. So I think that these would be delicious in there. Plus they would be fantastic for cocktails or punch. Um, great on a charcuterie board. They would be delicious in a uh, winter fruit salad. So lots of uses for them. And obviously the last time that we did some canning, we did the um, spiced honey and I mentioned how that would be great for tea. This would also be great for tea and if you're going to be putting together a little gift basket including that this would also be great too. A little tin of delicious tea with the um, spiced honey and these orange slices would make a great gift. So anyway this is again right up my alley since I am a tea lover and um, it's a pretty straightforward recipe. There is some cooking time involved with this. It's not a really quick recipe to do, but it is a water bath canning recipe. So I'm gonna be using my steam canner so you can steam or water bath can this recipe. Just like last time with the spiced honey, we're again we're gonna be using some cinnamon sticks. We're gonna be using whole cloves, whole allspice. We're gonna be using two and a half pounds of oranges. That was about, I weighed, actually weighed mine and it's about five of the larger navel oranges. That's what I'm gonna be using. Um, need some sugar, some honey of course, and some lemon juice. So it's pretty simple for the lemon juice. Since they don't differentiate, I would definitely use bottled lemon juice here. Sometimes ball allows for fresh lemon juice, but anytime that you're water bath canning, you should always use bottled lemon juice as opposed to fresh lemon juice, unless the recipe specifically says you can use fresh lemon juice. So we're gonna be using bottled lemon juice for this. And um, yeah, it's gonna be really yummy, I think. This recipe makes about three of the eight ounce jelly jars. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using the same jars I used last time, these really pretty, uh, they're just basic jars, but I think they're so pretty for something like this because you can really see what's inside of it. They're just clear, these are by Kerr, and they are um, eight ounce jars, but there's several different jelly jars to choose from on the market, so pick what appeals to you and what you would, would like to gift. So to get started, we are supposed to break up our cinnamon sticks, and then we're going to tie the cinnamon sticks, cloves, and allspice in a square of cheesecloth, creating a spice bag. And then we also need to have our oranges lengthwise and then thinly slice them, remove the ends and the seeds. So that's where we are now. And um, then we're gonna get started with the cooking part. So I'm gonna bring you in close and we're gonna get going. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to boil our oranges. We wanna get the peel to be nice and tender. So you just take a large saucepan, put your oranges in, and you're gonna add enough water just to cover them. So you don't need too much, just enough to cover. And then over medium high heat, we are going to bring them up to a boil, and then we're gonna reduce the heat, boil them gently, simmer, I would say simmer, ball is saying boil gently. Uh, so bring them up to a simmer and we're gonna simmer them for about 15 minutes until the peel starts to get tender. 
Okay guys, we are at a nice gentle boil or a simmer, whichever you wanna call it. And we're gonna let that happen for about 15 minutes. We want the peels to start to soften. Once we're done with that, then we're going to drain them. Okay, our orange slices are done. I gently simmered them, boiled them for about 15 minutes and I'm draining them, They I've set them aside. So now we need to start making our glaze. So we need to start with a cup and a quarter of just regular granulated sugar. We need three tablespoons of lemon juice. And then we also need one and a quarter cups of honey. We're gonna turn that on to about a medium high heat and we're gonna bring this up to a boil until all of our sugar dissolves. Once that happens, we're going to add in our spice bag and add our oranges back to the pot. And we're going to let that gently simmer until our oranges are well glazed. Okay guys, I brought my sugar and my honey mixture up to a boil. My sugar is all dissolved. So now we're ready to add in our spice bag. And then we're also gonna add back in all of our oranges. Okay, we're gonna bring this up to a gentle simmer and we're gonna let it hang out and simmer for about 40 minutes. Ball describes it as uh, cooking it until your orange slices are well glazed. So while that's happening, I am gonna go ahead and get my canner and my jars ready. You do wanna stir this occasionally. You don't have to stir it all the time, but you need to stir it occasionally, make sure that nothing is sticking or burning. Um, and you wanna, like I said, you want a nice gentle simmer or boil going on here. So I'm gonna turn my heat down, let it hang out, get my canner and my jars ready, and I will bring you back. Okay guys, our oranges are looking absolutely delicious. Aren't they just beautiful? Um, they've been going almost 40 minutes, so I think we're good. I also tasted them and they are absolutely divine. So we are good to go. We are ready for canning. Um, we need to remove our spice bag and turn our heat off. And the, then we are all set to can these bad boys up. Okay, we are all set. I have, I'm gonna be steam canning as I stated. You can also water bath can these. My steam canner has three quarts of almost simmering water in it. That is per instructions for my canner. So make sure whatever, if you're using a different steam canner, you follow the instructions on that canner. If you are water bath canning, you're gonna to wanna to have about four inches of, or so of water in there. That's almost to a simmer as well. Uh, our jars, jars are pretty short, and um, but so you wanna start with enough water that by the time you add your jars, they will be covered by at least an inch of water. So I would say start with about four inches of water and then go from there. Um, modern canning guidelines state that we do not need to pre-sterilize our jars or our lids as long as we're canning for 10 minutes or more and we're going to be canning for 10 minutes. So I just washed my jars, I've kept them hot in a sink full of hot water and I've washed my lids and set them aside so we are ready to go. Now ladle our delicious oranges with the honey into our jar and we are looking for a half of an inch of headspace. Okay, so I have my three hot jars. We're gonna ladle in our delicious oranges. Okay, so like I said, we are looking for half of an inch of headspace. So once you get your oranges ladled into your jars, um, Ball doesn't state this, but I would make sure that they are covered with your uh, glazing liquid, the honey and the, the uh, sugar. So once you have them in there, I think I can add one more in here. Okay, so once you're at the correct head space, you wanna take your debubbling tool, a chopstick or a plastic butter knife and make sure to release any air bubbles. So just poke around your jar. Um, when you release air bubbles, it's common for your head space to change. So if that's the case, you can go ahead and add some more liquid or another orange slice, whatever you think you need to maintain the half inch head space. And then once you are at the correct head space, you wanna take a paper towel. We're gonna to dip it in vinegar. And I highly recommend doing this part, not just wiping the rims, but actually dipping your paper towel or dishcloth in uh, white vinegar. You really want your rims to be nice and clean so that um, nothing prevents them from getting a good seal. We're dealing with honey, so it can be kind of sticky. And we don't want to not get a good seal. So we're going to place our lids and then add our bands to fingertip tight. And 
in the canner they go. Okay guys, all of my jars are in my canner. Just as an FYI, I got almost six eight ounce jelly jars. So I, with Ball and me, it's a crapshoot. Uh, they did say three eight ounce jelly jars. I got almost double that. And I actually weighed my oranges and accurately measured everything. So I don't know what the discrepancy is, but it's fine to have more. So just to anticipate maybe having more jars than the three that the recipe says that you will have. So anyway, I've got my jars in there. They are good to go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and crank up my heat to high. You're gonna put your lid on. This is true if you're steam canning or water bath canning, crank your heat up to high to get it going. If you're water bath canning, make sure that water covers your jars by at least an inch. And we're gonna bring it up to temperature for steam canning. If you have the um, dial gauge on your steam canner, you're going to look for being in just inside of your green zone, then you're gonna start timing. If you're a water bath canning, you wanna make sure you bring your canner up to a full rolling boil before you start your processing time. Okay, we are up to temperature. I am in my green zone. I also have a steady stream of steam coming out of my steam vents about six inches long, which is what you're looking for when you're steam canning. If you are a water bath canning, you wanna make sure you are at a full rolling boil. So we can go ahead and start our timer for 10 minutes. We're gonna process for 10 minutes. What you wanna do at this point is to reduce your heat to just maintain the appropriate temperature. So you just wanna maintain a full boil or just maintain being in your green zone. So you need to uh, slowly reduce your heat just to maintain that. You do not want your canner boiling too vigorously, whether you're steam canning or water bath canning, either way, you do not want your canner to be boil boiling too much. So make sure you reduce your heat just to maintain process for 10 minutes and then we will be back. Okay guys, we are all done. Once my processing time was up, I turned my heat off, removed my lid and I let my jar sit for five minutes. Now I'll show you how beautiful they are. So pretty. And very, very tasty. Um, these are gonna be fantastic, like I said, in tea, of course. Um, great for gift giving. Um, that honey glaze is so delicious. It would be fantastic over a butter cake or over a bundt cake. I had one of you who is in my uh, Facebook group for canning. Um, she did mini bundt cakes and then added some of the things we canned on top of them, some of the jams and jellies that we used. These would be fantastic. Um, for that purpose. Um, speaking of my Facebook group, if you would like to join us, we would love to ha have you uh, hop on over to Facebook and request to join Canning with Carol and Friends and join in on the fun over there. We're having a terrific time. Lots of wonderful, sweet, kind, and loving people having a great time there talking about canning, sharing recipes, giving advice, and encouraging one another. And I love that. We, we, and we would love to have you join us. So anyway, this was really fun to do and I hope you guys will give it a try. I forgot to mention earlier that this recipe is also on the Ball Fresh Preserving website. So you can find that information there, but I will uh, I will link that for you below my video. Also, um, I will link this book. This book is fantastic. For all of you canners out there, if you don't have it, you should uh, get a copy of it. We've got Christmas coming up. It would make a great Christmas gift to ask for. Um, lots of great recipes in here, and this is one of them. The um, last recipe I did, it was in this book as well, and that was the uh, spiced honey. I think they called it, I called it infused honey. Uh, but it's fantastic, and it will pair wonderfully with this and make a great gift. So anyway, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing some more fun things for Christmas for you guys, and then we'll do a roundup video, and I will show you how I would put things together for gifting. So be sure to join me next time. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Leave me a comment, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.